It's Wednesday, February 10th here in Seoul. Hey everyone, it's Debbie from Korea Now, and these are your daily headlines. As South Korea is about to enter the Lunar New Year holiday starting tomorrow, strict virus measures are in place, including the ban on gatherings of five people or more through next Saturday. So to encourage virtual family gatherings, the government has decided to offer free video calls over the holiday. The ICT ministry said Tuesday the country's three major telecom providers have agreed not to charge for video calls made from February 11th to the 14th for all smartphone users in Korea. They also agreed to support small business owners who are hit by the pandemic by providing an additional 100 gigabytes of data over two months. North Korean hackers stole more than $300 million to fund its nuclear weapons program, according to a confidential UN report seen by Reuters this week. The report said Pyongyang produced, maintained, and upgraded its weapons program throughout last year while continuing to seek material and technology from abroad, which were all in violation of international sanctions. The report comes just weeks after U.S. President Joe Biden took office. The State Department said Tuesday that the U.S. is reviewing its new policy on various diplomatic issues, including North Korea, and it will engage with Pyongyang after bringing their allies up to speed on their strategic objective. South Korea's new foreign minister Chung Yong said he feels confident about working with the new U.S. administration on North Korea's nuclear issue. He also stressed that achieving peace on the Korean peninsula is the shared goal between Seoul and Washington. The original webtoon for the hit Netflix film Space Sweepers has officially launched in four countries this week. The comic was first published in Korea back in May 2020, and it premiered in North America, Japan, Indonesia, and France on February 8. This comes after the Space Sweepers movie, which is based on the comic, topped the global charts on Netflix right after its release last week. In an online interview, actor Song Joong Gi, who plays the lead in the film, said Space Sweepers is a very special movie for him, and although it was his first time playing a father, Song said it didn't bother him at all. The actor said he was caught by the freshness and the cinematic imagination of the space sci-fi film set in the year 2092. And those are your top stories. For full-length articles, you can check out our official website, link down below. As always, make sure to subscribe to Korea Now for more daily updates.